Hey there. Um, a few guys had asked me to, to give the dimensions on the beaver float. Um, so I'm back, finally back home for a couple days here. And so I thought I would uh, show everybody what it is you need. So we'll go down here. Now we've got two pieces of two by six, 28 inches long, okay? Then two pieces of one by six, 28 inches long. Then a piece of two by six, 16 inches long. On top of that, we got two one inch styrofoams. So these are two by sixes, so that means obviously they're five and a quarter wide or five and a half wide just about so made the styrofoam the same five and three eighths and then we'll need a couple of short pieces which I'll show you in a sec but I'm gonna, here is those first seven pieces put together okay You've got the layout like so. Now they are, so at this end, you put here and to here on the two, long two by sixes and the short one. Now you only put one screw in there at first because what you got to do you got to make sure from the end of the 2x6 to the outside end of that one, it's again 28 inches. And you got to get it sort of even. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, but unless Norm's making them, then they'll be exact, I'm guessing. But Norm is a little bit fussier about his carpentry work than I am as well he ought to be considering what he does for a living but so and then we've got so I've got three screws holding this these are two and a half inch um, decking screws the brass decking screws so then you see we've got the plywood right in there or the uh, styrofoam and I had a piece in here also on the first one, but it was floating a little bit, you know, this end was too high. So I took it out and it floats a little bit more level with the trap in there. And um, so we get all that nailed together. Then comes our, the little pieces here. I'm just going to set these back down. I'm going to put this up here. Show you on the one that's it's finished. Okay guys, we're just going to Continue on here real quick, and uh, mainly because I gotta go and get these things out. So here, what I've done is right here you have a an upright. Let me show you here. This is this piece here, nine inches long, nailed to the bottom, nailed here, nailed there. Same thing on this side. And then this cross piece is nailed on there, and now I'll trim it with the saw here, saw there. The screen goes up, got to get the, uh, the trap holder right there. And uh, that's all the pieces put together so far. And here's the trap holders that I use for these, which are from FNT, is where I got these trap supply. These are nice 330 holders for this kind of a set. Alrighty, so 
So I'll just trim these things up real quick here. Of course, that's if I can find my saw. Lucky, found it. Now we got that piece trimmed up. Now our screen is made to fit the exact right size here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put it down here. Oh, and by the way, that's the, why the lengths that I have uh, made the wood is so that two pieces of the 36 inch screen will cover the whole thing. If I made it any longer, you'd have little open patches. So what I'm doing here, measure the middle of this, 16 inches, so eight inches, that's where it's gonna go up to. Like so. And you can use either fence staples, or fence staples, sorry, that's what I'm using. But you can use either the fence staples or roofing nails to hold this stuff on. So I am going to use fence staples right like this. These are the three quarter inch fence staples. Here. Just when you do this, just make sure it's lined up level so that it doesn't. Uh... And right there. And right there. Set her up on the table here to hammer the rest. Okay. Okay, so you see how the screen goes right to the edge of the unit, which was, like I said, designed specifically to fit that. So, five or six pen staples in this thing here. And Flop it over and do the other side. And I just came from two of the properties. I got to go set some beaver traps at. And since I'm going to be home for the next couple days, I can go out and kill a few beavers while I'm but then up at the lodge. I got a whole bunch of American plant guys. I have to be there to cook for them, so I can't be down here trapping beavers. Yeah, and the 
those beavers got those the farmers fields plugged up pretty bad so Anytime you're putting this, uh, this wire mesh on wood, the, those three quarter inch fence staples work really well. And then just here to hold this uh, two end pieces together, I just put a couple of J clips in there, which of course are the clips we use for putting the submarine traps together. So this is a J clips pliers. You can get them pretty much anywhere, but I get mine from the FHA trap store, trap line or Trans Canada trap lines. You just fit the clip in there like so. Put it around the two things you want to clip together and squeeze her down. And she's good to go. And there we are. That's that one. Now, just let me, where did I put those? Give me one sec there. Okay, so I've got some old three quarter inch water line from uh, up at the lodge that got removed and replaced so why throw it away so I'll just cut a about an eight inch section out except I'll make this one here is going to have a little bit of waste because it's got a hole in it And this one will go right in here. Now, I think I gotta run and get my uh, other battery for this thing. Because when I was working in here yesterday, I hammer that flat a little bit, so it's easier for the screw to go in. But anyway, like I say, I think my battery started to die. And I've got the other one in the house on the charger, so. Oh yeah. Well, maybe I'll just hammer this in. And then I'll run and get the, and then I can turn the camera off and I'll run and get the other uh, battery. Okay, so that's that. Now all I've got to do is put the uh, trap holder in there and we're good to go. And I think what I might do is also is, yeah, that don't matter. I don't think they'll try and climb up there. And it ain't gonna be set for any rats anyway, so. Got the trap holder on and the door handle and then we're good to go and we will turn her back on when I get her finished hey guys so here's the the finished float there's a scent tube there handle put on trap holder 
Now, so just to show you, now this here is what the overall dimension should be once you're done. It should be right around the 28 inch mark. This one's 28 and a half, but 28 inches is fine. 16 on this end, 28 inches long. From the bottom of the float up to your cross piece, 9 inches. And then that will just be, well, you can measure it if you want, it'll be whatever it is when you nail those two pieces on there. 16 inches, it'll fit one of the big um, Savageos or right up to the, you know, the 9 inch um, uh, Dukes or whatever trap you want to use. Alrighty, well, we're gonna, I'm just gonna go get the stuff ready and then we're gonna go out and set some traps. Later.